The poem's name is Daybreak by Bert Meyers. Birds drift from the trees, the moon's a little goat. Over there on the, on the hill, down as blue as her milk, fills the sky tint pale. The air's so cold as a gas station, glitters in an ice cube. The freeway hums like a pipe. When the water's on, streetlights turn off their dew. The sun climbs down from a roof, stops by a house and strikes. Its long match on a wall takes out a ring of brass keys and opens every door. This poem is titled A Wing and a Prayer by Bed and Ann Finley. We thought the birds were singing louder. We were almost certain they were. We spoke of this when we spoke. If we spoke on our Zoom screens or in the backyard with our pod folk, dang, you hear those birds? Don't they sound loud? We shouted to the neighbor and from behind her mask, she agreed. The birds are louder this spring. This summer, I've never heard such loud birds. Listen to them sing, but the birds are singing louder. In fact, the opposite. Ornithologists have recorded lower describer levels of bird songs. In the absence of noise pollution, our planes over, overhead, our cars rushing past with their mo motors and horns, our bars leaking into the street corners, the birds don't need to shout. So why are we hearing bird songs now? When is it quieter? Because we need more poetry in the pandemic, bird songs that they're all along. The Gamble by Laura Hershey. We are taught not to gamble. Perhaps it is that we have lost enough already. Legs, vision, speech, the typical use of our bodies. Others' fears would teach us to cringe at any thought of any risk. Disability and risk don't mix. Risk is something we're supposed to be protected from. By agencies, by professionals, by parents, by doctors. By invisibility, by shame, by confinement if necessary. We must be kept safe is one of the lies which fills the beds of the so-called homes. So we embrace the risks to fight the lies. This is our gamble. Minute by minute, city after city, from the tense beginning to the jubilant or scattered end, of every protest, with every rhythmic word, of every chant, I each blocked entrance, each barricade, with every defiant inch forward, every move, every move toward freedom for our people. Anytime we raise a fist or a song to a mean, we're never going away. In every confrontation up and down the length of the standoff, each and every time, we are testing the humanity of people who wear a badge, carry a gun, and fear our incomparable strength. We know this is a dangerous test, for some feel as extraordinary as others pass. It is a gamble, risky and promising. It may pay off. An unmet eyes or a curious stare, surely dismissals or a question, dialogue or bruises.